Uh, welcome everyone to our first session in English. We are looking at some rewrites, and then these rewrites, they are in categories. We have got uh, almost uh, 10 to 12 type of rewrite. And uh, to start with, we say we have got, for example, direct and reported speech. Then we have got uh, also what we call contrast and concession. We have got what we call reason and result. Then we have got what we call uh, question tags and many more. Now, uh, these type of rewrites, all of them, they have got their, their, their way of, of, of answering them and also how they appear. So for you to understand a kind of rewrite, you need also to know, uh, you need to differentiate from one type of rewrite to another. And if we are not, so we are going to separate these and we are going to start with the contrast and concession as our first one. So, for example, if you are given a reason and the result, a, a, a statement will be as the examination was very easy or the candidates passed. So, in the real and the initial, we expect that when the examination is easy, we expect that he, truly the candidates are going to, to pass. Or if I give another example, if I say uh, it was, they were very tired, they had to rest. They were very tired, they had to rest. So that one, if somebody is tired, they need to rest but not work in the farm the whole day. So we, we expect to say f that reason of, of getting tired, it has resulted in them uh, to, 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 to have a rest. Now, Look at this statement if we change it this way. The examination was very easy, all the candidates failed. So when you look at that one, it means uh, it is now a contrast and concession. So if you look at these two, those two statements, they are contradicting or they are contrary, they are contradicting with one another or each other. So when we, look, when we say the examination was very easy, all the candidates failed, that simply means in the, in the, in the, in the, in the real sense, when the exam is easy, we expect them to pass. But when it, it happens in a, an opposite way, it is called a contrast and concession. Also, if, we, if the one we talked about earlier, where we said the... The other right, which we said, the, they were very tired. They were very tired... and they had the rest. So when we said they were very tired and they had the, they, they had the rest, that was a straightforward thing. But now if we come to say they were very tired and they worked in the farm the whole day, that one now comes a contrast and concession. So now when we look at this one, let's say, uh, when, when we read there, we are looking and, and then it is written to say contrast and concession. Now in definition we are saying this is used to combine ideas that are, that, that are contrary. So it is used to combine ideas that are contrary, meaning those which are not really, uh, those that are giving a surprise to the one who is reading. Now in this type of rights, we use words, and the words we use, we have got number one, we have got but, then we have got yet, we have got even though, we have got although, we have got despite the fact that, we have got despite, we have got in spite of, we have got however, we have got nevertheless, and then we have got uh, instead of. So these are the ways which we normally use when we are writing or when we are trying to answer the rights which are contradicting, which is under contract, contrast. So let's start with but and yet. Now, but and yet, it is used to join two sentences that are contradicting. For example, that one which we said the examination was very easy, then full stop, all the candidates felt. So it is a surprise to the one that is reading. It is a surprise to the one that is in. It is contradicting the first statement. So in so for you to use but, so but and yet are used like the examination was very easy, but all the candidates felt. Which means uh 
it is giving us a statement now we have joined those two sentences using but but still when you, if you check we, are, we can use yet in the same statement the examination was very easy yet all the candidates failed so you, you can you can you are able to see that when we, we when we tackle that one it means it is a contradiction and we have used but then some ways some of the ways in which but is used is this one look at that example there uh, Vincent was good at English but failed the simple test but he failed it's supposed to be he in between there so but he failed the simple test now when you look at Vincent he was good at English then we expect him to to, 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 be, to be passing when he even difficult uh, test or, or simple test when they're coming now they gave him a simple test he failed so it is a contradiction no wonder we are using the word but so when you look at our but there it is joining the two sentences vincent was good at english but he failed a simple test so we have used but so where there is but we can also use uh we can also use yet vincent was good at english yet he failed the simple spellings in fact it is spellings not even a test so he failed the simple spellings so when you look at that one it means it is contradicting then no wonder we have got this one look at the, the other one it says vincent was good at english yeah so vincent was good at english yet he got a dis so which is the one that we were saying vincent was good at english yet he failed the simple spellings so vincent was good at english yet he failed the simple spellings so when you look at this one it's a contradiction so we have seen that we have used yet but in the first one we used but so when we use yet we are able to put a comma before the word yet and when we're joining but when we use but it just goes direct then away from but and yet let's look at although though even though although though even though so when we use these words for example when i use although because they'll be telling you to begin using although look at the statement although the examination was very easy all the candidates failed so we have used the word although there so we are saying although the examination was very easy all the candidates failed so this means uh, it's a contradiction statement and that's how we use although and it will always start it can start or it can be on the middle so when it's starting that's how you use although look at the other one which says even though she was very even though she was very sick comma she did not want to go to the hospital so she was very sick but when she told let's take you we won't take you to the hospital she was like no i don't want to go to the hospital so it means a contradiction because in a normal sense if somebody is, is very sick they should accept to go to the hospital but when you look at this statement this person is very sick and then she doesn't want to go to the hospital so even though so when you say this we say uh is it bemba or or, or laws you say uh, bemba or nyanja you say all law so all in is it all on angle so which means all is a, is a dwala and i can acquire which patala so something like that so in nosy they would say never cool in a cool in a whole nasa such are the 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 the, the statement so if, if now you check that one you will understand that it is a contradict i mean a contradiction statement so we have used even though there then the other one that we are going to show is a though so though also it is used as the in contradictions look at that one though he was tired comma he worked in the farm the whole day so though he was tired he worked he worked in the farm the whole day so this person was very tired but if he, 
even when he was tired, still more he worked on the farm the whole day. So where there is though, we can also use it, although. We can say, although he was tired, he worked in the farm the whole day. So which means we can also use even though. Even though he was tired, he worked in the farm the whole day. So I think that these words are, can go and can feature one another. They are able to flow well there. Then also we have got other ways. Sometimes these structures, which is although, even though, and uh, though, they can be put on the middle. For, for instance, look at this one. The candidates failed the examination, although it was easy. The candidates failed the examination, although it was easy. So when you look at this one, uh, the word although it is on the middle, the word although it is on the middle so which means it can join two sentences just like the word but and yet then without wasting time let's look at however nevertheless and even so however nevertheless and even so so look at the, the example there the chairman did not come to the meeting then we've got a full stop there the chair the chairman did not come to the meeting the community achieved their objectives so this is the chairman that was supposed to be there to chair the meeting but he did not he did, he did not come come to the meeting so he was expected to, to to be the one in charge of the meeting so that he, he tells people so the community now decides to do the, the to, to do to, to continue with the meeting and then achieve the objectives but in the real in the real sense some would have said no let's go because the chairman is not around but now this these people are to achieve so which means it's a contra contradiction so the chairman it can be written like the chairman did not come to the meeting we are putting comma however the community achieved the objective so which means the objectives so which means just the same as nevertheless Nevertheless, so we could have used nevertheless there, where there is it, where there is however. So where there is however, we could have used nevertheless. The chairman did not come to the meeting, however, the community achieved the objectives. So which means it is the... it is a contradiction and we have used however. So we find that however can be used to join two sentences and how is it we put a comma before the word however and we put a comma before a word, the word however then we put a full stop at the end remember when writing the rights you need also to punctuate because if you don't punctuate you are going to lose some marks then uh, let's look at the next one they they were very tired so where there is there 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 is we have got why so they were very tired comma nevertheless they continued working they were very tired nevertheless they continued working remember we had that right in the first place where we talked about these people were, were tired but they continued working so it is a contradiction so when you look at nevertheless it is put in to join the two sentences they were very tired they were very tired there we have got a d they are tired so they were very tired Comma, nevertheless, they continued working. Then we are going to apply a full stop at the end. So when you look at nevertheless, it is joining two. It's just the same as it. Uh, however, so you, we can translate those in our, in our own local languages and then we see what is there. Then look at, uh, so away from those, if there are questions, they are going to be in the comments. Then look at the, the next one we are looking at, in spite of, and then despite so in spite of then despite plus a noun now what is a noun a noun is a naming word then or a pronoun what is a pronoun we not say a pronoun is the is, is is the word that replaces a noun for example when you look when we say he she so as a subject those that are going to replace like he, a name like namakando mutinta mubanga such names so it is going to replace so it's, it's, a, it's a pronoun and then a noun is a naming word you then it means when you use in spite of we can you, you can mention a noun or a pronoun then we add a verb like ing for this here you need to be 
you read especially when there is is and was is and the word is and was will be replaced by the word being so you see that as we are going to do for example if i say uh levy is very tired if i say levy is very tired or levy was very tired levy was very tired but he completed work but he completed the work the levy was very tired but he completed the work so if i'm told to use despite i'll say despite levy being tired uh whether is she we are going to have to remove the s and then it is he despite levy being tired he completed the, the work so that's how we are going to use the uh despite so where there was e where there was was we have we have replaced with the word being so we, despite being be, despite levy being tired he completed the, the work then when you look another at this one again we have got another example of in spite so what if in the same statement we use in spite we would have said in spite of levy being tired so it, it was going to read as in spite of levy being tired he completed the work so we're going just to remove that if we're told to begin using in spite now in spite goes with off off but despite doesn't go with the off don't say despite of but say in spite of then when you look at in spite uh in spite of the teacher so we can apply the teacher there in spite of the teacher yeah so in spite of the teacher being in spite of the teacher being good at english in spite of the teacher being good at english he is very humble now it's a kind of a teacher that is is, is good at english he's able to speak he's able to teach well but he's very humble he doesn't boast around or somebody just like even he's somebody who is, who is good at that so we are saying it's a contradiction some would like they'll be praising themselves so in spite of the teacher being good at english he is very humble so we have used in spite now what about despite uh so despite and then that we have got some sometimes despite we normally add the, the next word becomes that so which means despite that mccoy liked eating too much he refused to eat despite that mccoy liked eating too much he refused to eat so somebody who likes chop chop over eating you give them food the whole day maybe doesn't eat he's not eating so it's a contradiction so it is a, it's a contradiction there then let's look at uh, so that's how we use despite followed by that then adjectives plus has or though let's try to be careful here. now sometimes they'll tell you they can give you a statement to say uh, natasha is very beautiful but she is not married natasha is very beautiful but she is not married now they would not say begin beautiful then you'll be surprised like how but now how you ask that one to be beautiful though natasha is she is still unmarried so if you're told like it the assessment was like natasha is very beautiful but she is still unmarried yeah let me put it that way natasha is very beautiful but she is still unmarried so your answer was going to be beautiful though natasha is she is still unmarried then let's go to the other one another example as we use uh we, we are trying to use as and then the it is we are on adjective plus as so we are not using as and then though these are just one and the same way so where there is uh, uh, natasha is very beautiful there let me just get this so where there is natasha beautiful though natasha something then it we can also use like uh, we, we can also use then when we look at the adjective plus has plus though we are looking at the, for instance you have been given a, a, a right to say levy was very tired but let's put this one 
uh, Natasha is very beautiful Na Natasha is very beautiful but she is still unmarried Natasha is very beautiful but she is still unmarried so when you look at this rewrite it means for, if they are telling you now to say begin beautiful so you are going to say uh, beautiful though Natasha is she is still unmarried so from that word which is an adjective because it is able to uh, modify what kind of a Natasha is so she's a, she's a beautiful Natasha so you say beautiful then you get the word though Natasha is she is still unmarried if you are told you can also use that one beautiful as Natasha is she is still unmarried then when you look at the other one we have got we have got this one rich as Yakaipa is he, he he does not show off rich as yakaipa he does not show off or rich as yakaipa is he does not he show off so that is how we use though and has when you start with the an adjective when you have been given to start with an adjective or an so now look at this one we, we now go to the other one which is the no matter which is no matter now when you look at no matter there we are going to have no matter plus how we have got the no matter then you are going to add how and then adjective and then an adverb so when you look at that one it will mean that uh, it will go like no matter how hard Jane works she is not promoted so when you look at that rewrite it is going with no matter how so the first word is no matter then the next it is uh, no matter how hard Jane works she is not promoted then we have got no matter then plus wh which can be what where or who so an example is no matter who your parents are you must respect them then the other example is so there we have used no matter who then here we have got no matter what you no matter what you say i will not forgive you so we have used no matter what then the other one is no matter where you live you must be proud of your home then also the, la the, the other one i think this might this is our last one so the last one there we have got instead of uh, so instead of can be an, an example we can say instead of learning he was making noise so instead of learning he was making noise then if you want to use it now to join the senses we can say he went playing instead of going to school he went playing instead of going to school then let's do very quickly here we look at these examination questions number one we have got mr mdenda was an old man but his wife had a child every year mr mdenda was an old man but his wife had a child every year so just reading this you know say it's a contrast and it is a, a contrast and a concession then when we have the to answer that one they say begin although so begin although so mr mdenda was an old man but his wife had a child every year then begin although so it will it will it will it will be it will be read as although mr mdenda was an old man comma then we are going to remove but or omit but and then say his wife had a child every year we say although mr mdenda was an old man his wife had a child every year then our next exam question it is uh, the one our 2a which says uh, she had a disadvantaged background then yet she became a prominent person in society she had a dis uh, disadvantaged background yet she became a prominent person in the society begin despite so despite so you can use like uh, despite ha, despite having a disadvantaged background she became a prominent person in the society despite so that had that we, uh, i have changed it to have and then it has become ing having so despite having a disadvantaged background then we are going, going to, to, to omit yet and say she, ha, she became a prominent person in the society. 
Then number three, Ace Richards Peggy was sick for the most part of a final year, but he ma but let's put she there, but she managed to get a distinction. So Peggy was sick for the most part of her final year, but she managed to get a distinctions. So distinctions. Now, when you look at that one, uh, they are saying begin in spite of. So when we use in spite of, we are going to say in spite of Peggy uh, was we changed to being. So in spite of Peggy being sick for the most part of her final year, then but will be omitted and we put a comma. There we'll place that on with a comma. We'll say Peggy was uh, in spite of Peggy being sick for the most part of her final year, comma, she managed to get distinctions. Then we come to this one here. Uh, it reads as, in, I never, it was a number there, but you can number it number three or any number. Zambia played so well against Egypt in the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations in Ghana, but lost terribly to Cameroon. So it is a, it's a contrast, that one. So how do we uh, now start with the despite the fact. Now, despite the fact goes as despite the fact that. So we'll say, despite the fact that Zambia played so well against Egypt in the 2008 African Cup of Nations in Ghana, where there is but, we are going to put a comma, and then we we'll say it will replace Zambia with it. So we'll say it lost terribly to Cameroon. It lost celebrity to Cameroon. Then we go for we go for the next one. This is supposed to be our number five because the previous one was now was our number number four. Although it says although the examination was difficult, none of the candidates panicked. Begin in spite of. So it the answer will read as in spite of the examination, whether is it will put being. So it will be in spite of the examination being difficult, none of the candidates panicked. So that would be our answer for number our number five. Then this one, our next one says, Mlenga is quite clever, but he does not work hard. Mlenga is quite clever, but he does not work hard. So that one, it will go as although, begin that they are giving you say begin although. So it will be, it will go like, although Mlenga is quite clever, well, then we put a comma there and say he does not work hard. Although Mlenga is quite clever, he does not work hard. Now an emphasis here, when we use although, we will not use again but. So where there is but, always will be removing but and then put a comma there. Then the other one says, I was very disappointed but I could not show it. I was very disappointed but I could not show it. So begin di disappointed. I think you, I hope you still remember that one we, di we did for Natasha, which was saying, "Beautiful though Natasha is, this is the same type." So it it, it, it will go like it. I was very disappointed, but I could not show it. Begin disappointed. So it will go like disappointed though I was, comma I could not show it. Disappointed though I was. Comma, I could not show it. Don't write the, 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 the word comma, put a comma as a symbol. Then we, our, our next one says, Chileshe is down, but she managed to pass the examination. Chileshe is down, but she managed to pass the examination. Same as the previous one. It begins with down. Down, it is an adjective. So it will be, down though Chileshe is, comma, she managed to pass the examination. Dow though uh, she is, comma, she managed to pass the examination. Or you could you can use as Dow has Chileshe is she managed to uh, pass the examinations. The next one says the ed teacher was angry, but he did not slap the boys. The head teacher was angry, but he did not slap the boys. Begin angry uh it will be it is also the same type like thou and the one for disappointed and the one who did for natasha beauty whatever it will go like angry though the head teacher was comma he did not pass the examination so you put a comma not don't write the word but angry the 
head teacher was uh, angry though I mean angry though the head teacher was he did not slap the boys angry though the head teacher was he did not slap the boys or you say angry as the head teacher was then the other one is it was very hot but he worked on the farm throughout the day it was very hot but he worked on the farm throughout the day begin hot it's just the same thing hot it will be like hot though the day was hot though the day was comma he worked on the farm throughout the day then our next one says i tried hard but could not solve the problem i tried hard but could not solve the problem begin no matter no matter it will read as no matter how hard i tried i could not solve the problem no matter how hard i tried I could not solve the problem. So this marks the end of our presentation in contrast and causation. So what we have covered, if you have got some questions or uh, other concerning on what we have done so far, we we'll try to be posting these uh, some of the exam questions which we have covered. So the, the, from here, our next uh, type of right it will be a reason and the result. So you need to check out for that video that is going to come next from this one. So thank you very much for for watching. And may God bless you, bless your studies, and we, may you make it in your examination. Thank you.